When a truck won't go, they call in the recovery team. When a truck rolls down a cliff and gets wedged in the rocks, some might say it's time to destroy it in place. But if you've got an ace up your sleeve, like the commander of the 626 Brigade Support Battalion does, you call in Mr. Wheatley. Mr. Byron Wheatley is a chief warrant officer too, in the maintenance section, specifically the welding shop. Over the years he has acquired experience in several areas, and his title is Allied Trades Technician, which means he is a jack of all trades. So not so long ago, when an MRAP rolled five or more times down a cliff and miraculously all the crew members survived, another crew tried to recover it. But they were unsuccessful and their three different wreckers broke down. Before deciding to destroy the MRAP in place, Colonel Becker called on Mr. Wheatley to take a crack at it. Uh, this was the most complicated recovery I'd ever experienced. A lot of recoveries are move up to it, pull it out of the ditch, and hook up and, and roll out a few hours. This one took a lot of thought and planning to maneuver it into a position where we could do that. Three, four days of operations, every, all the recovery crew, and even the security team that was helping uh, were exhausted after day two. Mr. Wheatley looked at photos prior to arriving on site. He determined a road could be built in a wadi close to where the MRAP stopped rolling. The engineers built a temporary road. Now the wrecker didn't have to fight so much gravity, as it would take several small poles to move the MRAP, sometimes only a few inches at a time, and over the top of boulders when needed. Although it took four days for the crew to get the MRAP out and load it onto a low boy truck, it is better to save the parts and save several thousands of dollars spent on this MRAP. Mr. Wheatley continues in his welding shop with his assistants fixing all sorts of metal equipment, but he is always ready for a complicated vehicle recovery mission. Reporting for Task Force Rockasan, I'm Sergeant First Class Kenny Scott.